Dear Lord Hilton, um, thanks for joining us today. What do you understand or what do you think about the role of Mr. Öcalan in the struggle for peace and freedom for the Kurds? Well, I never ever met the man, um, but I know that he's been in prison and mostly in solitary confinement ever since 1999. I also know that he's considered by hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people in Turkey, uh, to be the key to achieving some kind of peaceful arrangement. In previous negotiations for a peace process between the Kurdish movement and the Turkish state, Abdullah Öcalan, the imprisoned leader of the Kurdish freedom movement, has always played a central role. Um, how would you describe the Turkish state's attitude towards Öcalan now? And what are the prospects um, for a peace process? Well, I understand that way back in 2015, the beginning of that year, um, a peace agreement or a peace formula was um, pretty well agreed between the parties. But alas, unfortunately, um, it's not been possible to put that into practice. In your view, in what direction is Turkey heading now? And what are the prospects for democratization in Turkey? Well, I'm sorry to say that in my view, uh, Turkey is behaving in an extremely aggressive fashion and claims over the Aegean Sea. Uh, for example, also with having joint military maneuvers with Azerbaijan, um, which, have le which have been followed um, by uh, serious uh, outbreaks of fighting uh, which have killed and wounded rather a large number of uh, civilians, uh, no doubt both in um, Armenia and Azerbaijan, and in particular in the disputed territory of Nagorno-Karabakh. Um, Turkey is also occupying large areas within Syria without any any UN approval or um, concerted international action, nothing of that kind. So I, I do look on to Turkey as behaving in an extremely aggressive way in all directions. Turkey is on headlines again with the arresting elected HTP politicians. How do you comment on the attitude of European countries and international institutions on Turkey's illegal arrests, and do you think Turkey is a democratic state? Well, Turkey is a member and has been for a long time of the Council of Europe, of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, um, and also of NATO as an alliance between, uh, in theory at least, freedom-loving, democratic countries, and its behavior does not, to me, seem to conform with the, the requirements of any of those international groups. Do you think Mr. Abdullah Öcalan is a key for uh, peace in the Middle East? Well, I, uh, my impression is that over a long period of years, his, Mr. Oshalan's thinking and writing have developed and changed. And not too many people in the outside world uh, understand and realize that fact. Um, they should study the evidence, particularly the evidence of his writings. Um, he suffered from being stuck with the label of a terrorist.
whereas in fact his thinking has invo- evolved and developed. Dear um, Lord Hilton, it's a honor to interview you. Um, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for your comments. Well, if I've been at all helpful, I'm very, very pleased. Thank you. Goodbye.